Roger says, hey, Bradley, you mentioned that you did land flipping for a while before deciding to go full-time in SEO. Well, to be clear, I was full-time in SEO and then I started doing land flipping as a side hustle. Um, and it was it caused an internal dilemma for me because I really enjoyed the business and I made really, really good money at it very quickly. And so I struggled with an internal kind of dilemma for a year and a half where I considered leaving the SEO industry um, to just work on my land flipping business and using my marketing skills to really grow that business. But it was causing a lot of problems for me internally because I felt obligated to my partners and to you guys, our audience, seriously, that I, I would be abandoning you guys. I'm not kidding. And I struggled with that for a year and a half. And finally, I decided to give up the land flipping business because I didn't want to go put myself through that struggle anymore. Um, and I decided to recommit back to SEO specifically for everybody else. Not that I'm trying to place blame on anybody. Like, I think I made the right choice. My, uh, you know, my businesses have grown considerably, but all my focus is back on SEO and uh, before it was split and it was, it was just too hard. I was spread too thin. So anyway, hopefully that clarifies that. What's your opinion on doing land flipping versus property tax lien deed investing? I don't know. I've never done that. But one of our longest and um, most valued members of our mastermind, Greg Driebert, he does uh, tax lien and um, deed investing. And he he loves it. And he's uh, he actually was part of our my land flipping group because I did a small group, small coaching group on that for a few members. And he was part of that. And he, he shared a lot of his tax lien deed training with the group. I've never done any of it, but he loves it. Um, he's really good at it too. So, I mean, that would be Roger, if you end up joining our mastermind for whatever reason, uh, you know, which I would encourage you to do, I'd encourage all of you <laughs> to do, uh, but if you end up joining Roger, then perhaps you could get connected with Greg and the two of you could chat it out because he's, he's really, that's, that's his primary business is re real estate investing. He, he's still in our group and a valued member of our group, but, um, yeah, that's his primary business now, I believe. Anyway. Also, is land is one better than the other? I don't know. I personally, because I never did tax lien or uh, deed investing, um, I just stuck with. I used to wholesale residential houses uh, from 2003 to 2008, and then um, I got out of the real estate business for many years. And then in 2019, I started flipping vacant land. I start. I went to go start flipping houses again, but I realized that the uh, the house flipping business, the quick turn real estate business, and for house in houses was complete. It's it's super competitive, way more than it was from 2003 to 2008. And that's because it's become much popular because of shows like, you know, eight home and garden TV and fix and flip shows and all that kind of stuff. And so there's a lot more competition in land. It's a lot less competitive. It's a lot easier to get traction. You get much longer closing times. So I don't know about the tax lien stuff because I've not done any of that, but I love the land flipping business. It's a great business. Um, really, I, that's what I want to do is my retirement. Like when I've retired, that's all I will, all I plan on doing is just flipping land as provided our, you know, the laws are still the same at that point, uh, about 10 years from now. Anyway, moving on. Um, <clears throat> also, is, landing flipping, is land flipping something we can do independent of one's location? Yes, because uh, there's people in other countries flipping land in the United States. So, yeah, you can absolutely do it independent, like doesn't matter where you're at. For example, if I'm not physically in the United States, can I be doing land flipping for land in the United States? Yes. And how would the tax implication be when one does land flipping? I can't answer that. You'll have to talk to a tax professional about that, uh, especially when you're talking about if you're in a different country. I have no idea what the tax implications are for that kind of stuff. Talk to a CPA or a tax professional in your country. Uh, they should be able to tell you. So, And by the way, I don't do anything. For, I have a CPA. I've had a CPA for 13 or 14 years. I don't deal with any tax issues for my own business at all, period. So I can't ever answer any of those questions. I let her do that. So good business though. I love that business. Uh, eventually I'll do it again. 